Hi, welcome to Faith Blooms. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, this is Jennifer, and we're just going to talk a little bit about how we would like to take this channel and make it bloom, how you can be active with this, and how you can get more content of what you would like to see in the near future. So today we're going to be talking about products that I'm using. Um, so take, for instance, my gratitude. Um, most people keep trackers or things like that. I'm working through some issues with um, the way I'm actually doing it currently. So if I showed you what I'm doing currently, it would look like this. Nobody wants to deal with this mess and heap of whatever. So let's go through this heap of papers. So this is my gratitude journal. It's a happy planner. It's a, I don't know what it's called, a mini slim, maybe, I don't know. And basically you write your prayers on a little sheet here and then you go to your day. And when you go to the day, you put in what you're grateful for. And just basically a simple way of having a gratitude journal. I don't want a big paper where I might put some doodles or something like that. I want to simply thank God for what he's done for me. And I keep this beside my bed so that I'm not doing everything else in it. The next tool I use that is brand new, maybe a week old. I don't quite think it's a week old. And it's this mahogany ESV uh, thin line Bible. This Bible I purchased because I'm getting older. Not that I'm old yet, but I'm getting older. I don't know what old looks like because some days I feel like I'm 80 and 90 years old and I'm only 40 something. But anyhow, I wanted to talk to you about how and why we should read our, why we should have items to equip us. So I bought this Bible because my vision can be anywhere from where I want to squint some days to, oh, this is great writing. I can see it from five miles away. So this is a large print ESV. Uh, you might be able to tell the difference if I got just closer. But what I like about the um, thin line Bibles is that they lay flat that they are not the kind that you have to hold your arm on while you read the other page. Um, I like that. So I'm working in this one and I'm working in this Bible. I know I've had it almost a week. Anyhow, I really like it. This Bible is by Crossway. It is a mahogany. It kind of looks like a berry blast or something, or maybe a cranberry to me, but it's gorgeous. The Bible study that I'm doing with my group is the Fervent Book. This Fervent Book, I've had, this is my second time going through it. And as I have found things that just shoot out to me, I have decided to keep a notebook. And I wanted a notebook that was going to work for me. I've tried all kinds. I've done all kinds of things. You know, don't make it this and don't make it that. And... So this is my fervent book. There is like things that Bible verses in it. There are um, sayings or quotes that just, you know, make me, you know, help me when I'm having a hard day. So as we choose to be followers of Christ, we can remember to be a fervent, relentless, fervently and relentless prayer warrior for God and that's who you are that's one of those that I had to sit there and write out to remember so those are a few of my books now let's talk war binder let's talk faith binder or faith whatever we want to call it so I love happy mail or happy I do love happy mail but I love happy planners so I have a faith happy planner this is my cover because I can't decide if I want it in a cover or out of a cover. I also have the same issue with do I want it in a happy planner or do I want it in a binder? 
So I'm going to transfer all my war room stuff over into my happy planner so that it's all in one and all I need is this and my Bible and maybe a note pen. But right now I have all of this to fit into that. Hopefully it'll fit. So if you haven't checked it out lately, go over to Coffee Girls, um, Coffee Girls or Coffee and Bible Time. Coffee and Bible Time is my most favorite. And they have a Bible journal or Bible journal. A prayer journal you can get. This prayer journal is excellent. I've been watching Coffee and Bible Time since I I know at least five, four or five years. Anyhow, what I love about it is that their Bible or their yeah, their journal, their prayer journal, you can buy where you can print it or you can buy it where they print it and you put it and they have it on a quill bounding. I don't like quill, so I didn't get it that way. I wanted to be able to use it and use it and use it. Well, if you go over to coffeeandbibletime.com, I think it is, find them on YouTube, hit Coffee and Bible Time, put prayer journal in, you'll be able to find it. There is a link um, in their description box somewhere where you can go to their store and you can find this. Um, when I bought this, this is like $25 if you get it in the ring bound or the spiral bound, whatever they call it. It's like $45. I just didn't want to wait. I was impatient. Uh -huh. Need more Jesus time. I know. So I'm going to be working, trying to figure out how to take this into this. So as I go along and I kind of sort through and see how I want to do it, I'll let you know. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see some different kind of content in it, or you have a happy thought or a joyful comment you would like to put, thanks so much for joining us today. We're always here for you. We're always ready to pray. Remember to share God's good news every day, not just on the days that it pleases someone else. Have a good day. Bye-bye.